Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Insider Financial Talks Penny Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today. I am the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com, and today we're going to be discussing ABUS, AVVH, BRLL, CEI, VKIN, DNN, DSGT, ENDP, FERN, HRAA, ILUS, PHIL, TTOO, VPER, REFR, and PAYS. But before we get into that, we have a few housekeeping issues to go over. We have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this video. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors, and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is our opinion and meant for informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. For more information, please read our full disclaimer at insiderfinancial.com backslash disclaimer. And with that out of the way, remember to smash the thumbs up button if you like this video. Also hit the red subscribe button and little notification bell to be notified when we go live with a new video. Also go over to signup.insiderfinancial.com. This is where subscribers get first look at stocks we're going to be covering. Stocks like LWLG at $2.55, ENZC at $0.014. ALPP at seven and a half cents and HMBL at 0.027. Once you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number. It works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first, followed by your number. For US and Canada, be one plus area code and number. Never begin the format with zero zero, it will not work. And text messages are the fastest way to get our alerts. Many times, if something hot comes across our desk and we want to get it out to our subscribers right away, we will send a text only alert. And the best part is that both are free. We do not run any paid services. With that out of the way, let's dive in here. Um, first up, guys, I'm going to be talking about uh, both NASDAQ and OTCs. Uh, right now, you got to be trading both. Um, there's opportunities on, on both markets. Um, right now OTC there's there's runners but not like there was last uh, you know the November to February period right now it's it's you got to be much quicker to take your profits uh, and uh, you know right now you you want to have cash on the sidelines to take advantage of some new plays um, we know a lot of guys and we'll, we'll talk about some stocks here uh, that some people have gotten buried in and you know if you kept throwing money at them uh, you could be really in the hole so you know don't we don't want to get into that uh, situation uh, but first up is ABUS uh, rallied on uh, uh, Yesterday, after a, a patent win with Moderna, look, it's got a $383 million market cap. Moderna is at $140, $184 billion market cap. I'm sure there's been discussions, uh, you know, with Moderna, like, look, let's just get rid of this headache and just buy ABUS. So uh, if you are in ABUS, that's how I would look at it as a lotto play, as a potential uh, takeover target from uh, Moderna. Um, AVVH, uh, uh, word is updates are coming next week. Stock rose 59% on Friday. Nice bounce there. Um, so we'll see uh, what those updates look like next week. BRLL, this is a case in point of getting buried in a stock. Um, uh, the 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 10k is supposed to come the end of the month uh, the 10q just got released uh, so that indicates that they are working to get current to get the stop sign removed um, stock rallied 41 percent um, if you're not in brll yet uh, this is a down here i think uh, your downside's limited uh, I think it's a good lotto play, and uh, we'll see what, what, what happens. Uh, there's been some missteps uh, from management, but, uh, you know, the guy Harp Senga, um, he's been around a long time. Um, 
got some money, uh, and you know you're you're banking on him. So uh, let's see if if Harp can uh, you know turn things around and get uh, barrel barrel moving. Um, he just pumped in uh, a half a million bucks into the company, so uh, you know that money can be used. Uh, you know, in terms of lawyers and dealing with filing. So it seems uh, that things are moving along uh, with BRLL. Um, CEI, I mean, this has just been uh, the, the big winner, uh, up 117% this week. Uh, it's a, um, um, got as low as, what was it, uh, $0.35 cents, uh, back in August. Uh uh, this is a 400% uh, runner from there, uh, actually more than that, uh, almost 500%. So definitely uh, uh, this has just been an incredible winner. Um, and, uh, you know, this one was at 8 bucks uh, last year before COVID, um, was at $3 earlier in the year. Uh, definitely uh, has more room to run and, uh, um, you know, Definitely, uh, this this one uh, should be on your radar screen. Although with the RSI at 90 right now, um, we might uh, get a pullback in the after hours. It was already at 140, 141 after closing at 152. So uh, Monday, I think we're going to see some weakness in CEI. Uh, another play off of uh, <clears throat> uh, CEI is VKIN. Uh, this is what's been running uh, news out of VKIN. CEI is the majority shareholder. Majority means over 50%. Uh, this has a $102 million market cap, and CEI has a $158 million market cap. So their ownership in, uh, in VKIN uh, alone is, is worth over $50 million. So, uh, you know, if you're looking at uh, in terms of a... Uh, you know, valuation, we still think CEI uh, is cheap here. Um, and also, I think the shorts have, have gotten aggressive in, and I definitely think uh, the short interest now is a lot higher than it was beginning of the week. So um, I think pullbacks will be shallow, and I think uh, there's definitely a short squeeze potential in CEI. Uh, DNN, uh, this is a uranium play. Uh, what's going on right now is you have a Sprott, uh, uh, physical uranium trust, which is now buying up uh, uranium and storing it. Uh, power plants, uh, nuclear power plants, uh, are going to start com are going to have to compete with uh, this physical trust. Um, one of the things, if you, for those of you that are familiar with Bitcoin, uh, with the grayscale Bitcoin trust, when that was. Uh, Buying Bitcoin, it was basically buying uh, Bitcoin, taking it out of circulation, um, and I think that's part of the, the one of the reasons that we've seen such a move in Bitcoin this year. There's numerous reasons, but you know when you have a uh, trust like that taking uh, a commodity off the market, uh, it's definitely bullish, and I think Sp you know with Sprott doing the same thing, uh, we can get a similar move, and uh, definitely. Uh, I think uh, DNN and the other uranium plays um, have more room to run, and this is a, a space you want to be in uh, when it comes to mining. So definitely like what we're seeing in DNN. Uh, DSGT, uh, old, uh, talked about this one yesterday in, in uh, our video, uh, pulled back to $0.20, cents, but it's still closed up 12%. So this is a bull. Uh, this, this really wants to run... Uh, so this is a, uh, you know, former runner, uh, and, uh, it looks like, uh, it's definitely, uh, had a long period of consolidation here and, uh, now it's, it's starting to climb again. So definitely like, uh, the chart set up here in DSGT. ENDP, uh, this is a beaten down, uh, NASDAQ biotech. Uh, it's an opioid play. Um, they got hammered obviously with uh, the opioid epidemic, but
but they just settled with New York State uh, for $50 million. No admission of wrongdoing. That's huge when they can get that language in the uh, settlement agreement. So uh, definitely uh, uh, you see in this spike here, 32% uh, rally yesterday, and even in the after hours, bidding higher. So this one was uh, almost 11 bucks earlier in the year. Uh, it got oversold here, consolidated right at the two bucks. Uh, this one uh, has more room to run, so definitely an uh, interesting play there. Uh, Fern, uh, this is a crypto mining play. Um, really a great chart set up here. You had the rally pullback, another rally pullback, consolidation making another rally. Uh, it looks like it wants uh, to make new highs. Uh, the news out, uh, you know, uh, and that's the new uh, ex executive VP of engineering. Uh, at their newly acquired crypto mining operation operating system, Perfect Mine. Uh, so you know this is a great pl uh, crypto mining plays are, are hot right now. So uh, Fern is is definitely one uh, uh, that you want to have on your radar screen if you're looking to play uh, crypto penny stocks. HRAA, uh, two days of uh, really big moves uh, spiking. Uh, this is a David Lazar a custodial play, and it's already got a merger candidate with uh, AmeriGuard uh, security systems uh, with big government contracts. So Blue Bull Trading, uh, they've been all over this. Uh, so this is one uh, you can take a look at what they have to say there. Definitely uh, looks interesting what's going on with HRA, our HRAA and uh, the new, uh, its merger with AmeriGuard Security Services. So David Lazar's got a pretty good reputation, his, his custodial plays, so basically he takes control of a shell and then he finds a merger candidate uh, to go into that. So definitely uh, that's what's going on there. ILUS, uh, this has just been uh, a, a great runner from four cents in August. Uh, the, no major news, but they keep adding uh, new senior management. So uh, this M&A uh, player has been doing a lot of um, beefing up its C-suite. Uh, this is one I've been talking about uh, constantly uh, over the last month in, in my videos. Uh, ILUS is uh, is definitely one uh, one have on your radar screen, and for those of our subscribers that picked it up uh, off of our uh, alert, uh, congrats! Uh, this is why it's so important to be on our list. Uh, sign up .insiderfinancial.com. This is where it's much easier when you get the email. Uh, you're getting our best ideas only. So ILUS uh, is one of those. Uh, P H I L. Uh, teasing that an announcement is coming next week, uh, stock up 21%, uh, big social media following, uh, it's one of the most read uh, boards on iHub, so it's got a uh, big uh, community, uh, definitely uh, we'll be waiting to see what that announcement is uh, next week. Uh, TTOO, uh, nice move yesterday, up 23%. Uh, this is a NASDAQ COVID testing play, and they were out with news that they can now detect the mu variant. So definitely a, a great uh, great news there, and uh, COVID testing is, is here to stay. So um, definitely uh, this is uh, one way to play it, um, and we think this one can get hot again. Uh, VPER, um, interesting here, um, up 21% on no news. Uh, this one has been beaten down, oversold. Uh, definitely, uh, we think that there's going to be some announcements and uh, coming on this one. Um, so this is one that, uh, again, to have on your uh, radar screen. The last two was REFR, was up 21% yesterday, and PAYS up 12%, rallied from the 250 uh, to over 350 in two days. Um, again, you know, I really like these uh, NASDAQ plays right now, we're, so we're, get, we're getting some multi-day runners. Um, you know, OTC, it's been one or two days, and then they come back down. Uh, NASDAQ seems to be more where you can get that multi-day runner, uh, and that's what we like. Uh, we're not day traders. We're not looking to give you a one-and-done play. Uh, we're trying to get you into these plays that uh, can run for a couple of days. 
um, or like last year, a couple of weeks, a couple of months. So, uh, but again, you know, you, you got to learn to earn. Um, always book profits. Uh, you got to learn to trade around your positions, buy dips, sell rips, and uh, you know, own a basket of these. You know, uh, you know, ten or twenty or more, um, and have cash on the sidelines. You know, if you got ten thousand uh, bucks, you know, you want to spread that around. You know, ten to twenty different plays. Uh, you know, so that means putting in, you know, anywhere from two fifty to start to you know up to a thousand bucks in each play. Um, this will give you the opportunity that if you know the ones that don't work out. Um, you know, all it takes is one or two big winners, and it more than makes up for your losers, and uh, and, and you crush it. I mean, last year, uh, the big winner was TSNP, and then it merged with Humble, uh, it became HMBL. Um, you know, our subscribers got in, you know, under three cents, rallied to eight bucks. I mean, it was just, a, it was a millionaire maker. So, uh, you know, it didn't take much uh you know to to really make a fortune uh you know last last year was incredible so uh you know it's so it's september it's early um you know these markets are very seasonal you know summer's typically slow september starts off slow which it did this year in otc um and then you know once uh, october november comes uh, markets get really really hot um but right now we're being very very selective um we only had one alert this week um, working uh, all weekend, uh, looking at charts, looking at filings, going through my screens. Uh, so uh, right now I, I'm not seeing anything uh, for Monday, um, but let's see how the, the price action goes. But I have, I have a few things on my watch list um, that I am watching right now, and uh, depending on the price action on Monday, have an alert on Tuesday. So make sure you are signed up at signup.insiderfinancial.com. This way you get all our alerts. I want to wish everyone a happy and safe weekend. Uh, use the time wisely, spend it with your family, and uh, then also do your, your research. So uh, where are your starting point? Uh, and then, uh, you know, Go to otcmarkets.com and sec.gov and uh, learn how to read filings and uh, news and uh, social chatter on Twitter. So with that being said, again, uh, have a great weekend, and I'll be coming live to you soon with a new video. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.